This is Ian Lamont, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to embed Google Docs on a website. If this video helps, please subscribe and like the video. Let's get started. Basically, what I wanna do is I wanna take this Google Doc, it's a press release, and I want to have it show up on one of my websites. And basically, it's a WordPress website, but I've used other types of website publishing tools, including Shopify and Blogger, and it works the same way. This is what I'm gonna do. Open up the Google Doc that you wanna embed on another website, go to File, and then go to Share, Publish to Web. You'll have two choices up here. You want Embed, and then select, this, select the text. So I'm selecting the text, and then I'm copying it using a keyboard shortcut, or you can right-click and select Copy. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your website publishing platform. This is WordPress. I'm gonna add a new post, and I'm gonna give it a title, new book released, okay? And then what I wanna do is I want to publish this press release on Google Docs. And I'm, I'm basically using the code, this iframe code here, and I'm gonna be pasting it into the WordPress post. Now, one thing you need to do, it can't be in the normal WordPress editor, okay? It should be in the text version of the editor. Sometimes for certain types of web platforms, it may say HTML, which whatever you do, select text or HTML. And then, you know, I'm going to erase this text because I don't need it. But if you had other text on the page, you might see that text there. And basically, you want to find an empty spot. Let's say that I wanted to make it below this. And I'm going to paste that iframe code in that I just copied over from Google Docs. So just to refresh your memory, it's this text right here. I'm gonna copy that, you know, right click copy. I'm gonna to go to my editor in WordPress. I'm going to right click and then paste. And you can see the iframe just showed up, okay? I'm gonna give a space between there. Then I'm gonna click publish. Okay, so the post has been published. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. I'm gonna click view post. Okay, new book released. You can see the text here, I said editor says, and then you can see the Google Doc. Now, clearly there's a problem. It's too skinny. So something, something's gone wrong here. Unfortunately, Google Docs doesn't let you set the width attributes from within the Google Docs embed window. You have to manually do it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna click edit post, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of text to the iframe here. So the first thing I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say width equals 800 and then height equals 1000. Make sure that there's a space and it's not interfering with any of the other code there. I'm gonna click update and then I'm going to click view post again. Let's see if it shows up the right way. Much better. So you can see that since I set the width attribute and the height, I can see most of it. It's showing up on the page. And also, even better, whenever I make edits to this particular doc in Google Docs, it will automatically republish when changes are made. So see that, how that's checked off? So that means if I make a change to this press release, like let's say I change the day here to June 24th, once I, once I save that, maybe five or 15 minutes later, on the, on the uh, web page, the, the, the correct date will show up as well. It's not showing up right now, but it will after a few minutes. If this video helped you understand how to embed a Google Doc on another website, please take a moment to like it or subscribe on YouTube. For more information, check the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching.